Hey there. Thanks for listening to the Greg Laurie Podcast, a ministry supported by Harvest Partners. I'm Greg Laurie, encouraging you, if you want to find out more about Harvest Ministries and learn more about how to become a Harvest Partner, just go to harvest.org. You know, it was Oscar Wilde who once said, I can resist anything but temptation. Now, we all know what it's like to be tempted. And sometimes we feel as though maybe we're being tempted above our capacity to resist. But the fact of the matter is, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, there is no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. And God who is faithful will not allow you to be tempted above your ability to resist, but will with the temptation make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Loose paraphrase, there's always a way out of every temptation. Remember when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness? The devil showed Christ all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and said, This is mine. I can give it to whomever I choose. And if you will worship me, I'll give it to you now. Jesus comes back with the scripture and says, It is written, you shall worship the Lord God and him only shall you serve. The devil comes to Jesus after he'd been fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and says of a rock, why don't you turn it into a piece of bread? And Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Notice how Jesus quotes scripture. Now, Jesus could have used executive privilege. He could have gotten himself out of this situation if he had wanted to, but instead he faced it as a human being, showing us how to face temptation. And what did he do? Every time he was tempted, Christ quoted the Bible, saying again and again, it is written. The best way to resist temptation is to know and act on scripture. In Psalm 119, the psalmist says, how will a young man cleanse his way? Answer, by taking heed to your word. Later on in the same psalm, he says, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Hey, it's great to carry a Bible in your briefcase or your backpack or your purse, but the best place to carry the word of God is in your heart. I encourage you to memorize scripture. I still have verses, one of which I quoted a few moments ago, 1 Corinthians 10, 13, and I memorized when I was a young man, and I still remember today as, well, an old man. So memorize the word of God, and the next time you're tempted, remember there's always a way out. Hey everybody, thanks for listening to this podcast. To learn more about Harvest Ministries, follow this show and consider supporting it. Just go to harvest.org. And to find out how to know God personally, go to harvest.org and click on Know God.